This is another in a series of videos that I'm doing on topics related to the Department of Defense and the Special Operations Forces community. My name is Dave Duffy. I'm a retired Green Beret and combat veteran. I hope you enjoy. Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, what's an ODA or, uh, or a Special Forces A team. Again, my name is Dave Duffy, and uh, you can find us at the warfarecenter.com. Okay, what is an ODA or an SFODA? Uh, ODA stands for Operational Attachment Alpha. And it is the maneuver, uh, the heart, and the bedrock unit of special forces. It's come more commonly known as the A-Team, or SFA team uh, I chose this as a topic because uh, more than once I've heard uh, what's an ODA or an UDA by staff people that uh, should know better. Uh, so we'll try to provide some clarification. There's 12 men on a special forces team. Uh, men only because Congress hasn't changed the law as it's a combat arms. It's always been 12, except that once in the late 60s, they experimented with 14, and there was talk in the late 90s of going to 16, but it's 12. 12 is a magic number, and this allows for split team operations and other task organization. Uh, also, there's a unique numbering system. Each team has their own number, uh, which was recently changed with the addition of a fourth battalion each group. It's mandated by uh, the QDR 06, uh, which allows for about 72 teams per group. Okay, this is it. Uh, I, I, this slide was taken from the Special Forces uh, recruiting uh, brief. I certainly appreciate it and give them nods to that. Uh, the 12 individuals. Um, as you see, it's built in versatility. It operates independently, uh, which is why they select for individuals that are used to, that thrive in a gray environment, don't need a lot of oversight. Um, it starts with the, the commander, uh, he's the uh, captain. He's in command and control of the team, and he can advise up to uh, a, a combat force up to a battalion size. And he's the often he's the senior person on the ground. I mean, that was true for more than one uh, J-set in Africa I was on. Additionally, he's got a 180 Alpha, which is a warrant officer. All of the warrant officers of Special Forces come from enlisted ranks uh, that had previously served in SF. And they're also the only warrant that's not designated as a tech. Um, you have an operations sergeant, the, uh, the, the 18 Zulu, he's the senior NCO of the team, he's responsible for the individual and collective training, uh, he's also known as the team daddy. Uh, he has an assistant ops sergeant, uh, which is an, the intel sergeant, 18 Fox. Then you have two by each, weapons, engineer, combo, and medical, uh, they're all experts in their own uh, field, MOS, go through a lot of training for it, uh, they have to be able to tactically proficient, both in uh, land, sea, and air, which is the three lightning bolts on our patch. Okay, what missions do an ODA conduct? Uh, this is all found in Title 10-167. You have unconventional warfare, which uh, when, when Special Forces was established in the late 50s, this was the only mission that they conducted. Uh, guerrilla warfare, you could read the slide. Uh, that was expanded in the 60s uh, to include direct action, special activities, and this is the current list of foreign internal defense, uh, which is some great doctrine that we tend to lose sight of. Special reconnaissance, combating terrorism, and direct action. So, conclusion. It's, uh, it's ODA, not UDA or ODA. Uh, it's the bedrock of special forces. Everything else in special forces is geared to supporting or enabling the team. Uh, it cannot be mass produced. That's one of the soft tenets. Uh, it takes a lot of training for each of these individuals to, to, to go through and time to become a team member. Uh, frankly, they don't spend enough time on the team. Uh, perhaps it should be joint to expand the recruiting pool since uh, with, the, with the QDR that the mandates more, uh, more Green Berets in uniform, but yet we, we haven't expanded our recruiting pool, which is only the Army. Uh, that's blasphemous, I know. Uh, maybe lieutenants should be allowed back on team. Uh, the lieutenants were the XOs of the team uh, back in, uh, geez, uh, up to the 80s. But uh, that would be more blasphemy to do that. So, and, and also each team has a unique number. So, uh, again, you can find us at warfarecenter.com. Uh, and we also have a Twitter account and Facebook. Thank you.